your boy uh, Giorno from Heaven back with another video. You know what? <laughs> you, I can actually do something with this. Your boy Golden Experience Requiem from Heaven back with another video. Um, JoJo content, uh, Jump Force. Probably, I think that's the last time I did JoJo content. I wasn't just reading manga straight up. Verbatim. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. We got... This is big. Um, I thought Jump Force was done releasing characters like a year ago. Well, earlier this year, I suppose. But apparently not. I shot a lean MB56. Uh, lean boost that on Twitter. Uh, I saw Papa Birdo ret retweet him. So now I'm out here racking this video. This is huge. Um, I don't see anybody else covering this, by the way. I, he's the only one that's covered this. So it's honestly crazy. But... Giorno set the come. I think we all knew Giorno would eventually be on Jump Force. I think we all knew Jojo would have another representative outside of Dio and uh, Jotaro. I think a lot of people expected it would be Joseph or somebody like that, maybe Jonathan. But um, I think Josuke just doesn't have that much popularity uh, in Japan, and I don't know how big he is in America. I mean, he's only been in an American dub of. An anime for a year, but Giorno was just was huge pre anime and has just only gotten bigger post anime. And Yorichi is obviously one of the centrigal, cent, centrifugal forces in Bleach. Um, we, I don't think Urahara would sell well, um, as well because he's a male. He is obviously well liked amongst Bleach people, but he's, um, simply not, I think he's a bit of a draw. Um, when you consider the fact that Yorichi is hot, so that, that kind of deviates it one way, but I think outside of Ichigo, Rukia, and Aizen, and I, they, for some reason they put Renji, which is just ridiculous, um, the only other people I could see them adding would be Kisuke, Kenpachi, um, That's about it. I mean, like, they would only add other swords people. And anybody outside of Kenpachi and maybe Biakia isn't doing better numbers than Uruha I mean, than Yorichi. Um, Grimjow. I, I didn't think about Grimjow. That would... Honestly, Grimjow probably made more sense than Renji. Is Grimjow in the game? I don't think Grimjow in the game. That would have made a lot more sense than Renji. That's, that was so stupid. Anyway, here's what we got. They should have went with Renji now that I think about it. Um, the audio is playing through my headphones. I guess I'll save. If you want to watch the, the or hear the audio, you can um, go peep the homies video. And I'll give you a reason to go view that, I suppose. But I don't know. I don't know if this is him. I think this is him adding the music added on. But it's like the it's like the JoJo, um, the Giorno theme. He's about to kick somebody's ass. Not the piano theme, but like the the real. I I think it's every JoJo part. More like it's about to be a fight that hits his climax. That Joe Joe, you know, theme music. You know what I'm talking about. I like how Golden Experience Requiem looks like. And one point that Lee made here's the fighting um the moves right here. Muda send their attack right back. A do they produce life? And unfortunately, I think this is just the, the, I think, I'm guessing this is the English translation because this, when you see the subtitles and descriptions for moves in Jump Force, they use the English versions, the the legal versions of names. So it might just be, you should know, reach your destination. In the Jap Japanese translation from everything I've seen, it's usually, you shan't, you, you won't, you shan't, uh, you should not reach truth, but. Maybe that's not allowed, I guess. But I was going to say that he said Golden Experience Requiem is like the permanent version used. And if you, as you can see, that is Golden Experience Requiem. So it, I don't know if it maybe because it's not like actually released yet. Maybe they're still working on it, but they don't feature Golden Experience in normal version. They now have, what, four, five people with Muda attacks? They have the dude from Fist of the North Star. 
Um, there are a lot of people with rush attacks now I think about it. But I know they have him. Oh, they do like a seven page Muda. Oh, that's big. Wow, that's big. Hold up. And the, the sound is like verbatim taken from uh, the seven page Muda. I know his spirit record looks really good. This is only in 720, so I can't make that look too one to one. But yeah, that's that's nice. I like the detail in uh, Giorno too. I think they had the cheek lines and everything. Be born to the, okay. Let's go back and see what that's about. So it's a life giving tree. It looks like it just it's like just, it just hits them. There's like nothing special that it does. But it does do an effect right here. What what did Lean say about this? The tree one in particular, in particular, okay. Create a tree the power of your stand. Inflict damage, inflicts damage when an opponent touches tree. Another tree is created while one exists. This the tree will generate the opponent's damage location and inflict damage. So what you could do here is like he uses the tree here. Um. So do this, blah blah blah. He breaks the. He uses the tree right. When he's in the middle of a combo, he's using the offensive thing essentially. So what you could do is, if, like, let's say, deal back steps, and you have enough meter, you could just do another tree. From what this says, you could just do another tree, and it'll hit him. So you could just trap him in two trees, I guess. I mean, I assume it's a cooldown feature. Like, let's say this is up here, and there's a like, cooldown between, and you can use the next one. If he were to back step. But he also deals guard in this moment. Does it break guard? Let's see. Maybe it's like a counter effect or something like that. Maybe, what, what I'm assuming is that Dio um, like went to hit after he um, was guarding and the, the tree popped up. He went to hit. And when he hit, it's a counter effect essentially. Uh, but that's interesting. That's a really interesting defensive and offensive potential. I really like how they do a floating aspect. I don't think that, um... Jesus. Lane just got fucked on right there. I don't think that... I don't think Jotaro floats on any of his combos. I don't think it's just like a basic stand flying. I think it's the going experience working on floating. You know, sometimes stands will float, um, as with Jotaro versus Dio, but I don't think Jotaro floats. I think it's just the Golden Experience Requiem floating. Okay, Golden Experience Requiem coin. That's a, that's a, probably a steal right there, I'd imagine. Let's just do that. There you go. It's so, like, low quality. I wish it was Titan 80, but, you know, you can't, beggars can't be choosers. It's also very dark. Very dark. I have the MacBook is on full brightness, but anyway. Oh man, and he dodged it. I mean blocked it. His combos look good. So we see Mudai and the tree summon. Jodoro is about to die here. I hope you can at least use that that healing um I imagine you're gonna switch to Yoruchi at some point. I wanna see the healing aspect. I'm sure he'll do it. Let's see. Okay, Muda. Giorno against Giorno. Dio subs in. I think he shows like all the. Well, he shows all the combos now. Did he get hit by that again? I was about to say, jeez. I really like Golden Spirits Requiem's move. All right, not move, but design. And the white little R on him is so cool. Okay, going Spirit's Requiem. I was hoping they would do like the delayed punch effect that they did on uh, King Crimson in the anime or the um, Eyes of Heaven. That would have been nice. Instead, it's kind of like there's another Muda. They, they, I mean, they kind of. I have like the close up here. 
like a close up here would have been a lot to me. It would have done a lot of design. And then the the um they don't mention the the well let's see. I don't think they mention the line. No, they just end on Muda. So they don't end on the line, you will never reach truth or whatever. That's kinda lame. Uh and I'm not a biggest fan of that. I guess he'll use the I assume he used the, the healing move at some point. I'm just gonna end on Giorno. I don't really care much about Yorichi. I guess this is it for Giorno, probably. Yeah, I would have really liked to see that healing aspect. I imagine it's probably like not much to it uh, as far as design and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, between that that tree move, it's, yeah, this is a great design. They don't really do much to the lines, though. I thought they did. I guess it's just scars. Um, I don't know. I think Giorno. I think this is good. I think it's. I don't think they tapped into some of the the the, the dialogue that made Giorno like somewhat distance from just a, a clean Dio, a safer work Dio. It's like most of verbiage. It's very basic. This is Requiem, Muda, Re, um, useless, you know, whatever. But not much interesting verbiage or, or, or quotes from from Giorno. If I had to give him a rating, I would probably say like him and his stand are very well designed. So that would be certainly an A on his own. Maybe an A minus. They don't, do, they don't do the lines like the anime. Do. Well, yeah, I mean, kind of faintly, maybe you can kind of see that a little bit. But I'll give them an A. I'll give the design an A. Uh, I would probably contend that the move set. I have to see that that healing one first, I guess. But the ultimate definitely could have been better. Uh, with, especially with what Golden Spirits were from does. And I mean, you could just use Eyes of Heaven as a background if you just needed to, but they. It kind of lame. I mean, it just made another Muda, essentially. He, I mean, he has Muda for his combo. He has Muda for one of his moves, and he has Muda, essentially, for his last uh, super, which is kind of ultimate, not super. But that's kind of lame. I give him overall like a, a B plus, just because it seems like his moves are going to be very interesting. He has a heal, he has a stand rush, and he has... Probably one of the more versatile supers in the game. He has ultimate that's pretty basic, I suppose. But in conjunction with this tree, I'm trying to think right here. Let's say you have somebody in a rush. They back up. You use tree. It knocks him in the air, as I believe it did. Um, I forgot where he used it, but I believe it knocked Dio into the air. Let's see. I don't think it was this far. Let's see. It should be here somewhere. I, I think it's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I could be born to the world quote. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, yeah, Dio is knocking to the air. You could probably fit in an ultimate in that frame. I would imagine, but, uh, you know, that would be tough. I'm not an expert jump force player. I just kind of watch a little bit of it time to time. You could do some pretty interesting things with you and I believe. I would give, like, a B-plus as a character. Uh, they could definitely have done worse, I suppose, but they didn't do enough to make him, in my opinion, stand out as a character. This would be it for me.